What's up, everybody? It's Joe Simpson. Sunday was a bust. I went out this morning with Pat. We went fishing and didn't do real well. So we're going to go back and try again, probably another day this week, if we can get some warm weather. But I wanted to go through an unboxing. It's not really going to be a great unboxing because I had to give some of the lures and stuff to Pat at breakfast this morning. So I pulled out the GoPro and I filmed a couple of these things just to show you what they look like. And I'll kind of do a voiceover and explain what we picked up and why we picked them up. And then at the end of the video, I'll go over some hooks that I just picked up that I think are going to be really cool and what I might use them for and what they might come in handy for you as well. So I'll talk to you guys here in a bit. Stay tuned, watch the unboxing and check in in the end of the video and we'll go over the other stuff. So the first thing I pulled out were these Hyper Freaks by Lake Fork. These are kind of like a creature bait with a flat beaver tail. They come in handy for um, trailers for chatter baits and different types of jig configurations. There's another bag of the uh, Hyper Freaks with a watermelon red pumpkin. These little guys are called spunk shads and they're perfect for like chatterbait trailers. They've got like a little skinny tail with a little added weight. You can see here how it kind of shakes back and forth. That'll be like a really cool little chatterbait trailer. Next up is going to be your Gary Yamamoto. These things are called cowboys. They're like a uh, craw bait and these are in a pumpkin color. And they're going to be awesome for any type of uh, jig trailer. I think um, tactical bass, and I think these guys use them actually <laughs> for one of their chatter baits. Looks a little big for me for that, but that's just in the water that I fish. They have a little bit bigger fish in their area than I do. We also have some zoom lizards. Um, going down to Georgia, I know lizards are very popular. We have a chartreuse and pumpkin with a black flake, and then we have some watermelon red different colors of those but just your generic uh, zoom lizards can't go wrong with those or $2.99 a pack now this is kind of cool this is the dark sleeper by mega bass this is a little swim bait has a hidden hook and those fins up above and supposedly that's a hot little lure so I can't wait to get my hands on that and uh, fish that around some of the ponds and structure down there um, more lizards these are just the gooseberry but I wanted to pull these out and actually show you the color these are really popular, especially this color. Now I picked up uh, some new hooks for myself, but Pat wanted some Tokyo rigs. So we have a couple Tokyo rig hooks in that pack. So last but not least, let's talk about my hooks. Um, so I got these hooks from Eagle Claw and they're called uh, EWG W Keeper. Um, I'll pull one out and I'll show you a little bit closer view of this hook, but it's going to be really handy for keeping some of these um, Elastec baits on the hooks. So you guys have probably heard of pop shads before. Basically, it's a soft popper. It's got a popping mouth. It's a soft body, a little whippy tail, and it can be a real pain in the neck to keep on your hook. Um, when I was fishing this earlier this year, I would just use a normal like EWG hook and hook it like a worm. And the, the beauty of this pop shads, the reason people even want to try them in the first place, A, they're soft, but B, you can hook them weedless and you can fish them on top of like lily pads and different structure. And when you hit the pockets, you can also pop it. Now it's not quite as good as a popper because it does kind of subsurface dive sometimes, but I've really been looking for a good hook for these. And I think I just found one. You take this hook and you come through the lip like that. And then you're gonna work that lip right over that little keeper edge. Now you can see the mouth or the hoop of the hook connection point is sticking out. And on the bottom, that keeper has that Elaztec kind of wedged in there. And then you just hook this back through the body like you normally would then you end up with a weedless popper, so to speak. Um, so it's something I'm gonna try, but these hooks will come in handy, even if you're doing like Elastec worms or something like that, and you wanna hook them Texas rig style, it enables you to keep those baits on there a little bit better. That's really all I have today, guys. I appreciate you stopping in and watching, and uh, sorry I didn't have any fish catches this week. That's how it goes sometimes. It's just been too cold. It's still 30 degrees outside this morning, and the rods were freezing and stuff, and I've had enough. You know, enough's enough. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for this stuff to be done with, and I'm ready to catch some fish. So Georgia, Georgia, here we come, baby. I'm going to be there in about three weeks. Pat and I are going to take a road trip. I'll have to document the whole thing. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Keep trying. Keep casting. I'll talk to you later. Bye.